Hi babes, hi babes, how are you? If you're new, hi, welcome, my name is Michelle and this is your monthly reading. This is going to be a series for all of my zodiac sign of course i'm gonna try to i'm gonna divide this in two parts because your girl is barely getting their voice back so we cannot overdo it so this series is called who's talking about you behind your back so we're gonna find out who's doing that and before i start i want to remind you guys my readings have no date they are divinely guided everything has free will not everything is going to resonate with everybody please keep in mind that rose can be reversed between you and that and another person if that applies and again these are all general so keep that in mind just a friendly reminder and with that said let's just dive in let's see for my beautiful air signs we're gonna start with libra and then we're gonna move on it's gonna be libras i mean air and then earth and then the second part hopefully i'm gonna get it tomorrow it's gonna be for the other two groups which be water and fire so with that said let's dive in we got the strength card in Viva libra we have the two of wands here we got a leo here a fire sign who talks about you so what are they saying spirit what are they saying hmm i see what they're saying okay so libra i see a very strong leo but we see leo aries Sagittarius as well um but there's a uh, in an earth sign also very good towards capricorn and it could be another uh fi another sorry air we got libra gemini aquarius right here so with that said um they're actually talking about you this person's kind of like a coward because they will never tell you this in your face they will never tell you this to your face because they know you're spicy they know that you're gonna tell them how you feel and be like hey just tell me to my face you know like what the heck are you talking about you know because libras they don't they don't hold back we are nice people but don't mess with us because we're not gonna hold back we're gonna tell you exactly how we feel asap we are the justice card we are blunt you know what how it is so this person talks about you a lot they watch your stuff and it seems to be that if you're actually let's say working hard on your own business or you know this is just little things that i can came up as an example or working hard on anything and anything uh this person talks about you a lot with some close friends and this person thinks that they are the i don't know the, the i don't know the belly button of the body meaning that this person thinks that the world runs around them they think they're indestructible. This person is like, oh, this could be a friend. This could be a co-worker of yours. This could be like not even a best friend, but like a friend of yours, like somebody that you went to school with or somebody that you still have, you know, in touch, somebody that you have in Instagram or something like that. It's somebody that you know that you do talk to this person not often enough but enough for them to know what you're doing you know so anyways and this is just specific person okay so this person is talking about you the fact that you're working so hard in achieving your dreams but that that sadly you're not gonna achieve it because this person doubts your power this person doubts your your gift this person doubts your ability to achieve whatever it is that you want to achieve and this person is like this person is not gonna go anywhere libra is not gonna go anywhere because this person has um money or they think they have money they think they have achieved so much that then they actually they could have been humble in the past but this person is no humble anymore this person is very very to themselves like very like i'm too good for everybody so this person like i said before um is somebody that you either or definitely work with or somebody that is a friend not not a best friend just a friend um but going back to this that's what they're telling telling about you like they're saying like oh my god libra is not gonna do anything ha 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 libra is not gonna achieve this and they think they are the the poop you know what i'm saying uh they think they have it all they think they're so so popular they're like oh i'm better than libra libra's never gonna achieve this because they look down on you a lot that's what i'm seeing here they look down on you because you are so humble and the problem with this is that deep down i see and i feel jealousy i feel insecurities from their energies because you don't need all of that to be to be this the the light the the life of the party we Libras have this personality that we are hated a lot because we are just who we are and people love us half of the time. And this person does hate that. You are so humble. You don't have to wear 
brand stuff. You can wear Sheen, you can wear Walmart, like myself, you can wear anything and you are pulling it off and people go like, holy moly, you look so good. Like you look so beautiful. And this person gets angry because this person spends so much time on their looks and spends sometimes so much money on their stuff that you by being yourself, so I'm fixing my wig as you can know, it's just annoying me by being yourself by having the bare minimum you know like you do you you get the attention that they were expecting to have because according to them they look better but this is the person that you should not even worry about this person because why at the end of the day they will have to see you conquer whatever it is you want to conquer and they will have to tell you like oh my goodness like you're gonna be praised and this person uh unfortunately because this person is so 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 selfish and so like you know this kind of energy um this person is going to go through the tower moment because they need to be humbled this person uh has this negative energy jealousy and thinking that they're better than others so this person is going to go through their tower moment and all you can do is pray for them because this person according to spirit needs this because this person is just letting everything go to their head and then just like changing as a person and they're talking not only about you but other people as well but again if you know who this person is if you can like pick or nitpick it's not saying to push this person away because they your energies and your humbleness is gonna teach them a lesson eventually but just don't share too much about your life with this person. Don't share too much about your dreams because they don't keep it to themselves, you know? Even your issues, they talk about it with other people. So don't trust this person that much. Just keep them as a friend from afar if you want to. Um, but don't um, don't need to be petty towards them because they, them, them, they themselves are going to be putting the karma that they need to understand that what they're doing is not right. So again... Karma is not something that you create, Libra. It's something that people themselves create. In this, it is a lesson. And if you don't believe me, look it up. Again, don't trust some people's opinions about karma. Just look it up online or buy a book. There's a book on Amazon that explains it so well. So <coughs> you can have a better idea what I'm talking about. So that's that. Now we're going to go with Gemini. Let's see who's talking about you behind your back. For Gemini, who's talking about Gemini behind their back? So we got an Empress. We have a Libra talking about you, Gemini. We have a Taurus talking about you as well. Like I said before, this is not going to be for everybody. It's going to be for some people. We got the Chariot Cancer talking about you. And what are they talking about? What are they talking about? What are they talking about? Please and thank you. What are they talking about? Please and thank you. So we got the Lovers and Vivers, Gemini. Which ones? Wait, where did my card go? Let me just go get the card real quick. And I got the card, this one. And after I got the card, I bumped into that. And a bunch of cards went like, Phew. and I was like, huh, awesome. Anyways, we got the page of wands in the reverse again. And this right here, the queen of wands in the reverse. So we have uh, Gemini, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. We also have uh, Pisces against Scorpio as well. But anyways, they're talking about you. Um, they're talking about you and they're saying that something about your relationship Um Somebody, uh, if you met somebody and you told them like, hey, I met this person, they're so good, I might have found the one, they're talking about how much you're not going to last. They're like, oh, they're not going to last. Gemini and this person that they met, they're not going to last. This person is not their person. They're not good for each other. So they're just gossiping about your relationship or about your past relationship it could be too. The page of ones right here. They don't believe in your power. Let's say that you broke up with somebody and they, you're like, you know, I'm done with this person. I'm not going back to them because, you know, they never treat me well and I'm done. They're just making fun of it in a way, saying like, oh, we'll see. We'll see. You'll see how Gemini goes back to this person ASAP. Like, they're always saying that they're done and they're not done. So those are things also that I see that they're talking about. Um, if you're actually wanting to get a different job or if you're trying to get a promotion or let's say for some of you are starting your own businesses and anything they are not they're not rooting for you they're actually saying like oh they're not gonna make it they're go they're actually gonna fail and then we're gonna have to be there and telling them that we told them so what a waste of time you know this is the kind of things i'm listening to and that's sorry i'm fixing my wig again um and it's upsetting to me because like you know it is very 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 sad uh, with the seven of ones right here, I just want you to tell you that when you hear this, do not let them stop you because you have many blessings coming your way. And there's people who are talking about you, um, 
they're going to have to see you <coughs> just grow and pretty much, um, you know, uh, from the ashes, rise from the ashes. You're like a phoenix, you know, and um, there's a song that I, that I just heard. It's called Like a Phoenix, and you should look it up, and it, <clears throat> the, the lyrics are like, saying that like a phoenix i'm i'm gonna fly like a phoenix i'm going to grow like a phoenix da, da, da. so look it up i don't remember the lyrics very well i thought i did but i didn't but it's like down like that's what the song says but um don't let this person or situation make you feel bad about yourself because they're just jealous people unfortunately these people are not real friends and this could be also a sister or a family member that you should not be like too open about situation because they don't they they don't deserve that kind of information they doubt also your spirituality others of you if you actually started your spirituality they're like don't respect it or they think you have it as a joke so keep in mind that these people should not be the reason for you to to not do something on the other hand this should be the reason for you to do it even more whatever it is that you want to achieve because this person they just are pretty much reflecting their own insecurities up onto you so do not let them stop you from achieving what you know and what we all know that you can achieve and if you're actually um doubting if you can get a car for whoever you're gonna get a car or if your car is broken it's gonna get fixed it's just gonna take a little bit but don't stop yourself because you are in a way in in the path of like blessings oh no is it dirty anyways it's kind of dirty now i kind of licked it made it worse no but anyways let me just get some water real quick i cleaned it i'm sorry i have like ocd sometimes and when i see something dirty it got to, it got to be clean asap so i did so with that said <laughs> let's jump in to aquarius right here let's see who's talking about you behind your back let's see the nine of pentacles this is an earth sign this could be taurus virgo capricorn we got the four of uh, cups this could be pisces cancer or scorpio thank you spirit we also have the eight of pentacles another earth sign and what are they talking about what are they saying spirit the page of source in the reverse libra gemini aquarius energy the six of cups pisces cancer scorpio the page of pentacles in the reverse and overall energy here we have the hermit here so um this could have been a, this could be happening or will be happening like i said this is a future telling so not everybody's gonna have be like oh right now but anyways um it could be um a relationship that was over or a person that walked out of your life right and sorry and this person seems to be coming back in into your life eventually if they haven't done it already anyways it, again it's pretty much um thinking that you guys are not gonna work this seems to be somebody that you work with that is like a good co-worker and or a co-worker that you talk to um a friend that is not your best friend is just somebody that you know you here and there ask like how are you da, 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 da. like through social media and others of you could be a family member but whatever the situation might be this person or whoever these people are for whoever can say yes it makes sense um and if you say it could be anybody then check your your circle of, of friends because that's that's worrying you know but anyways um going back to this whatever it is that happened in between you and that past person or whatever this person is uh whoever they are um they think you guys are not gonna work they think that you guys are gonna are going to break up again and they feel like annoyed if you ever talk about it they don't they don't really listen to you they just agree with you because they don't they're not very interested in this conversation and they go like oh my gosh like aquarius talk about this so much like he's driving me nuts so keep in mind that there's people that you're trusting certain secrets or certain confessions they're not really appreciative of your trust so with that said just be mindful in how much details you 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 know decide to share with these individuals because they don't seem to keep it to themselves so again do not let people in when they actually are not sharing sharing your trust you know they think that you're naive they think that you're gonna get your heart broken again and they think that you are not gonna 
achieve whatever it is that you're trying to achieve and if it's not a relationship it could be something else they doubt you they doubt your power and they think that you're not going to be achieving they feel like you're weaker but they don't know that you're more powerful than what you that what you seem like so with Hermit right here they're telling you to do everything in silence to have more privacy and whatever it is that you're doing relationship wise or career wise to not be so public because these people are not there to root for you they're not there to be your cheerleaders they're not there because they're happy for you they're, they're, they're just there because they want something to gossip about behind your back so again don't let them have some some sort of topic uh, a conversation about you when you're not around you know so just be more to yourself and be more more mindful to the people and listen to your god and intuition and re-evaluate your circle of friends or friend circle you know <clears throat> i'm telling you that there's going to be a lot of people out there who want who will cherish you and cherish your friendship way better or your trust now we're going to go with my earth signs. We're going to start with my Virgo. So who's talking about Virgo behind their back? So we got a page of cups. It's a Pisces. We got Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio with the queen of cups right here. We got the judgment in reverse. We have a Libra, the magician here. We got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius as well. Um, we got the lovers. We got a Gemini. And we got the chariot in reverse. It's a Cancer of our own energy, please. So nine of of uh cups and toys with hair fun here so um they actually don't believe in your independence um there go uh they actually think that whatever it is that you want to do in life is it's like they the, your shoes are too big for what you want to achieve you know like they go like hmm can you just lower your expectations can you just like do something different something more that you can achieve so they're actually projecting their insecurities up to you um, on your dreams so they just again they doubt your power they doubt that you can achieve that so they talk about it a lot with their spouse oh my goodness my, sister, my boyfriend just scared me uh with their spouse um they talk about it with other friends of theirs like can you believe that Virgo wants to achieve this can you believe that Virgo wants to so it's like they think that your dreams are too big to fulfilled and they just again talk about it you know like not in a good way um with the judgment in reverse they actually say hey i just really don't think that they're gonna achieve it and i really don't want to be there to be the one who acts like a shoulder to cry on you know so like i said before um keep in mind what much how much you say the same way as the other people here with the magician and the lovers in reverse here um others of you could be just a relationship um they don't think you guys can last uh sometimes they think that this person is too attractive for you and that's not true again we're talking about people who are pretending to be sheep, but they're actually wolves dressed as sheep. you know so what i'm trying to say is like they're jealous of you because people who talk about you this way and people who know you in a way shape or form talks about you this way they're not good friends and they're pro they're they're haters dressed as friends you know so they're pretty much just jealous again projecting their insecurities um to you and they don't tell you because they know it's wrong they know that it's shady but with a chariot right here you're gonna find out eventually let me tell you that you're gonna find out eventually because for some of you there's gonna be some text that they're gonna be sent to you like some receipts and or you're gonna hear something like you're gonna be nearby and you're gonna overhear something you're gonna be like oh so this is how you feel but keep in mind that you need to keep your cool and don't feel bad don't feel like you want to argue with them because they don't deserve that attention they don't deserve that reaction because you're way above and where you're actually better than them you're not under you're higher above you know up here they're up here so don't don't lower yourself to their standards like just be mindful uh you're gonna know who they are you're going to find out not by terrible but fist, like personally you're gonna find out soon and it's gonna open your eyes it's gonna make you understand that there's cheap dresses wolves and it's gonna make you more aware and <coughs> how to maybe um discern people's characters from one another you know so again we all go through that so it's not uh a thing that has happened just to you you know i have gone through it a lot of people that i know has gone through it so again it's just lessons you know now we're gonna go with Taurus here Taurus, let's see who's talking about Taurus behind their back 
four of wands here, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. We got the eight of wands, again, fire. And we have the seven of wands. So Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. So let's see what they're saying. What are they saying? Nine, nine of cups of reverse, the chariot, cancer, energy, Pisces, cancer, Scorpio, and the ten of wands here. So... Actually, this is a good one. They're talking about, let's say, your relationship or your potential. They, This person that you might meet eventually, if you haven't, right? The people are going to love this person. They talk about it very nicely. They go like, oh, my God, they're just such a cute couple. They're perfect for one another. I see them working through it. And this also could be a situation that you were actually, you know, going through the tower moment. And they're talking about how much you grow, how much of a bigger person you look like, how grown you feel, how wise you look. And good thing. They're not talking about bad things, to be honest. They're talking about good things, about your progress in life. They actually are very happy that you're not struggling anymore and they tend to not tell you all of this because they don't want to be cheesy but they're very very proud of you and they're actually very happy for this upcoming relationship or the relationship that you have right now they feel that is better than your ex i heard that they're not that is not as toxic um they just wish that you will actually open up more emotionally and don't be and they would like you to not be so dry with friends family and or future spouses because it feels like that was the main issue with other relationships and this can be good friends or good people who know you who do want the best for you but they don't tell you this because sometimes you don't take it the best way you take take things misunderstanding sometimes so they don't want you to feel bad so they don't tell you this but they will like you to be more open emotionally and more communicative with your spouses and friends or family or so because they do love you and they would like to, they would like to hear that from you sometimes and with the ten of ones they will also like that sometimes you can ask for help because you're not alone and they have made it very clear that you're not alone in any way shape or form but they will like you to be more accessible and vulnerable to ask for help or you know to be more as a team instead of being like solo but they're actually like i said before very proud of what you <coughs> sorry become and what you've achieved and overall they talk about you very very well is nothing bad this is a nice one because the other ones i had it's like things that you won't, don't want to hear but um very good very good also some of you this person people pray for you for you to keep on doing as good as you are right now so this is people who care legit care for you and love you for who you are now we're gonna go with my last one for tonight it's gonna be uh i did tours very go. Cool. it's gonna be capricorn so capricorn who's talking about capricorn behind their back <clears throat> chariot cancer energy ten of pentacles ten of wands ten of cups in the reverse pisces cancer scorpio with the death card scorpio energy and then what are they talking about what are they saying with the king of cups here Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Temperance, Sagittarius, Energy, and the Wheel of Fortune here in the reverse. The picture once. So, um, actually, also is another good one. They're talking about how much you don't uh, give in to your emotions, meaning that before you used to get angry and just give in to to how you feel, you know, and get yourself in trouble. Also, they like that you have hold back into like investing so much in brand new relationships, such as getting to know somebody before saying I love you or getting emotionally invested and very connected to somebody because they do worry about you. They want you. Um, also, they, they want you. They also talk about how much you, they how happy for some of you that you moved on from this past relationship that was very bad. And they want, and they're very happy that you're done with that and that you have moved forward in such a healthier look and healthier way. Uh, with the King of Cups, they love how much uh, you have taken it seriously. The, for some of you, therapy and others of you could be um, the healing process. They're very, very liking the new you uh, because the new you is the best version of yourself, the real you, you know, and they're very happy that you have 
have taken back your power, that you're more open and connected to your emotions and that you are not holding back anymore in that little cage. And they're very happy that you have been taking seriously the word healing and that you have taken the proper time to heal and to, you know, work on those issues that needed to be worked. And they're very, very happy about it. And even though they don't say it, they feel like you have a bright future and that better things are coming. And with the five of swords they feel look at this very very proud of your achievements with the five of swords they feel very proud of your achievements and your and the things you conquered but like i said before it's like they're watching you from afar because they don't want you to be overwhelmed and they don't want to be again cheesy like i said to the other zodiac sign but this person these people really really care for you i'll see a libra gemini and aquarius as well talking about it too they're very very happy and very very proud of you so again this was nice you know and before i go let me give you a message for all of you this is a collective message for all of the sweat exercise to see so so let's see if i can get another one just one more one more thank you so much spirit so we're gonna get this one it says marlene diet rich dress for yourself not for a lover or occasion once you have forgiven your lover get them to reheat the sin it's the friends you call after hours that matter let me fix this oh beautiful week now so we got courtney love and they say if rocks star are like leaders of a religious cult be the unvirgin mary <laughs> be more than a human be a force of nature be ambitious it doesn't matter if you don't know where you're going marilyn monroe orgasm 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 organs orgasms i'm sorry i'm gonna put it here orgasms does not doesn't exist it's better to spend your time reading enjoy your wedding day you only get to do that three or four times in your life never pick stability over a good time oh that's a bad advice and then we got oscar wilde Day or something i can resist everything except temptation hearts are made to be broken true friends stab you in the front Mm, that's a good one i think but anyways this is the end of your reading guys thank you so much for your time please like and subscribe and i'll be back this weekend with more and more and more because you guys deserve everything i love you guys so much and bye